Affairs of the heart, to say nothing of the chest, have always held abundant interest, and science has done its best to keep pace with romance. Visiting a demure Victorian patient, the frock-coated Victorian physician carried his primitive stethoscope in his hat, which gave it a familiar bulge. After blowing and polishing, the doctor proceeds to listen in. And now see the progress of the stethoscope. Some people thought that the tap-tap of the finger on the chest and the short listening tube were, well, a little gay. So the two-way th stethoscope was invented. With its appearance, jealous husbands could sleep o' nights. That's how the stethoscope is used today. But medical science doesn't stand still. With King's College Hospital celebrating its centenary very soon, a new apparatus makes its appearance. The invention which for short is called the phonostethograph. It's the result of three years' research at the hospital, and it's designed to record on a disc the actual heart sounds for purposes of diagnosis and future reference. The disc is now actually recording the heart throbs. It's registering all those wonderful things song scribes write about, but are seldom uh, write about. Here's a title for them. Heartbeats on the wax. That's a record before exercising. So we'll ask the patients, uh, bless their hearts, to show us how their hearts can stand up to a spot of touch toes and bobs your uncle. You can see that a little exertion makes all the difference, right? Then we'll make a record of the heart action immediately after that strenuous moment. Now the disc is being prepared for play, and that's possible within 30 seconds of the recording. The patients are actually listening to the echoes of their own hearts, and they can also see the modulations of their heartbeats, looking like caterpillars in a hurry. Hearts may be trumps, but they're records too. And now we have